Hi everyone, my name is Megan. Welcome to my channel. Today I am doing Sophia's six month update. This is my daughter Sophia. She just turned six months old and I cannot believe it that she's half a year old. It's so crazy. And I know I say this every update, but I can't believe how many new things she's doing. It just blows my mind. So the most exciting thing that she's doing new is that she can get up on her hands and knees by herself. And like, she does it all the time. Like she doesn't just lay on her belly anymore when you put her down on her stomach. She doesn't just lay there like she used to. She gets up on her hands and knees and she scoots around and she can turn in circles and she can scooch backwards. Actually one time, <laughs> this is a funny story, I put her down on the floor in the living room and I went and I made a cup of coffee and I came back and she was gone. Like, I couldn't see her anywhere. I was freaking out. I was like, did I leave the door unlocked and someone like came in here and stole her? And I was looking everywhere for her and then all of a sudden I heard noise under the couch and she had scooched backwards on her hands and knees all the way underneath the couch so far that I couldn't see her. Oh, it almost gave me a heart attack, but afterwards it was pretty funny. <laughs> So, and she also can sit up too. She can't get to the sitting up position by herself, but if I set her on her bum, she can stay there by herself. And sometimes she does tip over, so if I'm gonna leave her on her sitting down and go a little bit away where I can't catch her right away, I put her like on our bed, which is on the floor, so she's got a nice padded place to land, and she just has so much fun. She loves sitting up, like, if she's fussy, I can just sit her on her bum and she's just happy and if I set some toys in front of her, she just, she just be there forever and she loves it. <laughs> well, not literally forever. She gets bored after like 20 minutes, but that's longer than she lasts anywhere else. So some other big news is that she tried an apple. I let her chew on an apple slice. It's a, it was a really firm apple so she couldn't like bite off chunks and accidentally swallow them, but she loved it. It was so cute. And she just sat there chewing on it forever. She got herself all kinds of sticky and it was pretty fun. This is the first time to give her food. We're letting her gnaw on an apple and she loves it. But I can't believe she's already trying food. I am I think that I'll probably let her chew on a carrot soon too. And then in a couple weeks I will, I'm planning on doing the Sally Fallon method with her and I'll, I will feed her some scrambled egg yolks in a few weeks and then after that I will give her some grated raw liver and then maybe some mashed banana but I'm gonna make sure I only do one new kind of food a week in case she has some sort of reaction to it that I can tell what kind of food it was that she didn't like. She has been teething so bad lately. It is just ridiculous. She is so cranky and there was a few days where she just whined and or cried all day long and that just like wears me down so bad emotionally that by the end of the day I can't even think about anything. I can't make dinner. I can't, like, I can't function. It's so hard to hear flying all day. Oh my goodness. So the teething has been not very fun at all and she still doesn't have a tooth and she's six months old and I'm, I'm starting to think that she just doesn't have any teeth in there. I know that's ridiculous. She has teeth, but I keep telling Luke she's just not going to get any teeth. She just doesn't have any. <laughs> So an update on her sleep. She was sleeping really, really bad for like several months. She would wake up like four or five times a night, like on the good nights, that's how many times she would wake up. And then starting early in the morning around four o'clock, she would insist on coming to bed with us. And her crib is right here and our bed is right here. So she can see us and she can hear us all night. And she would insist she would not sleep unless we brought her to bed with us in the early morning, which was quite disruptive to my sleep. And then we would have to try to sneak out of here when we get up at like 5.30 and then that would sometimes wake her up and then it's like, back to sleep. Oh, it was terrible. So what we ended up doing is we took our mattress off of our frame and just put it out there in the living room. It's just sitting on the floor in front of the couch. And we've been doing that for like four or five days now. And it is amazing. Oh my. She sleeps so long. Like the worst night she slept until 1.30, like huge stretches. And at the most, she only wakes up twice. There was one day, she slept all night until five o'clock. And then that's around when we got up anyway. So like, she slept the entire night. It was so amazing. 
And then she's, she actually sleeps until normal time. She doesn't insist on getting up early or coming to bed with us. She just sleeps in her own bed until like 7.38, sometimes 7. But it's so nice. Like, I wish we had tried that sooner, moving our bed, because oh, everything's just better when you're not sleep deprived. Like, I can handle her being grumpy all day and teething if I've had a good night's rest. She is still nursing really good. She doesn't have any issues for a little while. She was kind of on a little bit of a nursing strike and I was worried she'd have fresh again, but now she's back to normal, so I guess she didn't. I'm always surprised how much my milk supply fluctuates and I don't know why I'm surprised and panic every time it goes lower. Like I should know by now that it's gonna go up and down and it just depends on if she's having a growth spurt, how much she's eating and what I'm eating. But she is just, so good at it. We've gotten really good at the sideline position to nurse at night in our bed. I've actually figured out how to nurse her in her carrier. So when we were hiking the other day, I just had her in the front carrier and she was nursing and I had a cover over me, but like, it's so easy now. And when I first started, I never thought I would be able to do that. Like that just seemed like the most crazy thing ever. Like even nursing in public with a cover on seemed like so crazy and so hard to do, but now we've like got it out and pat and she doesn't thrash around and try to rip the blanket off anymore, which I'm very grateful for. So that has been super nice. So now that she's getting older, I can definitely tell that she is able to notice more when I leave the room and she's not quite old enough to realize that if I leave, I'm gonna come back. She seems to think that anytime I leave, I'm just like gone forever. So if I put her down to work on something, if I put her down on our bed in the living room, and I go to like try to make myself breakfast really quick, she screams at the top of her lungs. She's so mad. She's been quite clingy lately. Even though she's been sleeping better at night, she's very clingy during the day. I pretty much can't leave her anywhere very often. Like every now and then she does good and she'll let me do that, especially in the morning. She's in a really good mood in the morning. So I can try to put her down and get some stuff done then, but the rest of the day is like not good. So that's fine. I can carry her around in the carrier or just do things one-handed, which I've gotten quite good at, or just try to relax with her and get all my stuff done while she's napping, is what I usually do, because that's just easiest for me. I don't have a ton of stuff to do during the day. If she takes a half an hour to an hour nap, that seems to be enough time for me to get done all the stuff that I have to do every day. So we have discovered that she loves animals. It is so cute. She loves our kitties so much. We have two mama cats, and we kept two females from the first batch that the mama had. And then we have three more younger cats that are all gonna get sold, but right now we have seven cats, four of which we are keeping permanently. But she loves, loves the kitties so much. She just gets so excited and she just wiggles her whole body and she just can't even contain her joy. And she smiles so big. When she smiles, her whole mouth opens as wide as it possibly can. She's gonna catch a bug in there one day, seriously. But she tries to grab the kitties and put them in her mouth and she tries to like touch them and she's too rough right now because she doesn't understand but oh, I love letting her see the kitties because it just brings her so much joy. Another thing that she really loves is she likes going places. She likes seeing people. She is a social butterfly which is kind of hard for me because I am an extreme introvert. It really wears me out talking to people and going places. I just love staying home and just being in the place I'm comfortable. I really don't like it on the days when I have to go to the store to get groceries. And then most of our grocery stores are like an hour away. So that, oh my gosh, I do not like that very much at all. But I've been trying to go out more often to see people because she loves it. it if she's having a bad day, I can just take her out in the car for a ride. To, even if I just go to the store and we don't really talk to anyone, but she can just see new people. She it gets in so much better of a mood. So that's really interesting that I'm an introvert and she seems to be turning out to be an extrovert. Another thing that I've been noticing is that I don't know if it's too early to tell, but she seems to be left-handed. She reaches for more things with her left hand and whenever she tries to bring something to her mouth, it's usually with her left hand. And so that's pretty interesting too because both me and Luke are right-handed. So if she's left-handed, that's gonna be pretty interesting to teach her how to write and stuff like that. So. It'll be really interesting to see if that keeps on or if she'll switch after a while. So she's been doing really good. She's such a little bundle of joy and oh, she just makes me and Luke smile so much. We are so excited in the morning when she wakes up. We both run in there and if one of us gets to the door first, the other one's like, wait for me, I want to see her too. 
and oh, we just love her so much. And we haven't even let anyone babysit her yet just because we just like being around her and I feel like I would freak out the entire time if we went on a date without her. So I am so thankful for her and she's just progressing so well. I'm so excited for all these new things that she's learning. And I hope you guys enjoy hearing about it too. I post three new videos a week on Monday, Thursday, and Saturday. And I will see you next time. Bye. <laughs>